and I have received a, a news about up, upcoming meeting with uh, His Holiness Pope Francis and Patriarch Kir Kir Kirill. My spontaneous exclamation was finally, <laughs> and I was so pleased that uh, Pope Francis repeated almost the same when he embraced uh, Patriarch uh, Kirill, and I think that uh, uh, that very gesture is sacred. We're supposed to meet, uh, we're supposed to talk, but that meeting it's only uh, a tool, routine, in, in order to start true, sincere dialogue. But the joint declaration which was made, uh, a big document with so many not clear statements, was problematic was the temptation to instrumentalize a, a holy sacred issue of ecumenism for the political proposals. Uh, especially those paragraphs who, who are judging the situation in Ukraine uh, uh, almost an inner civil conflict. Uh, and also um, some sort of, of um, not clear statement on the identity of the Eastern Catholic churches. Because those churches were called simply the Christian communities. That diversity of, of uh, uh, terminology is very, very uh, difficult to understand because um, in the ecumen ecumenical discussions, those communities who uh, are not preserved uh, the apostolic succession, supposed to be called Christian communities. Uh, but we are churches, uh, sui iuris churches. Uh, we conserve both the Eastern Catholic Orthodox spiritual liturgical tradition, but we are in full communion with the successor of Peter. We profess that being Eastern and being in communion with Rome is nothing wrong. That communion preserves us from the provincialism, uh, uh, very, very narrow nationalism, and opens us to the real open uh, ecumenical dialogue. Being Catholics today means being ecumenical one. Even for His Holiness, Pope Francis, uh, that document is not the word of God. This is not a page of the Holy Gospel. But this is uh, rather some, some issue of the father discussions. I think uh, that meeting and that declaration is only the beginning of the true, sincere dialogue. It is good to be united uh, 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 because of so many common challenges in today's world. But I think that true, real ecumenism is a, a search for unity in the name of one God, not one, one enemy. <laughs>